Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Three Different Dads. I didn't even talk about it. We just jumped right into it. Just surprise attack. Are you guys on it? You guys ready? Ready, go. <laughs> Let's yep. do it. Thanks, everybody. Uh, we started uh, 10 seconds ago. Uh, guys, how you doing? Good. Wait, we started? Yeah, we started. <clears throat> We're okay. Hold <laughs> up. Get my notes. Okay. All right. Uh, before we before we go into anything, I do want to... We got an email from another oh. another one of our super fans describing his ideal day without because you know how last time we talked we talked about uh ideal days without our spouses or kids yep so this was sent in by super fan kurt wells um i think he he woke up the earliest out of all of us he said 7 30 8 a.m wake up i think <laughs> this made me laugh this is without kids or your spouse, but his dog still exists because he'll take his dog for a walk at eight fifteen. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, go! F- oh man, go for a three to five mile run with the goal of being to sweat out some of the beer from the night before. Ten a.m. Make a gen- generous breakfast. Listen to this. Lately, been on a burrito kick: eggs, cheese, sausage, onions, shrooms, green peppers, jalapenos, tomatoes, hash browns. Load all that into the burrito. Roll it up. My, his favorite thing to do is heat it on a skillet and some olive oil. It browns and crisps the tortilla to, to a restaurant quality. This massive breakfast allows me to skip lunch. Do you guys, this brings up a good point. Do you guys, when you are cooking, let's say cooking for yourselves, do you enjoy like all the prep like that? Because that's, that's a lot of prep. No, depends what I'm making. Yeah, depends what I'm making. There are yeah. some dishes I like, yeah, I'm okay with it. If I know the ending result is going to be worth worth the the juice is worth the squeeze kind of thing. So, All right, Jim, what did you say? I can't stand the prep stuff at all. Like we do the home chef meals and yeah. even that, it seems like sometimes things will be like pre-diced and then other times I feel like just to make it less convenient, they're like, no, now you have to dice up this, <laughs> this onion or whatever. It's like. It just I throws, it throws a, you off. I didn't need to get a cutting board out for anything <laughs> until this happened. And you could have just sent it to me pre-diced and I would yeah. be just as fine. Like I damn it, it's a dice and they want mints. Fuck. Yeah. So it's uh <laughs> I don't know. All right, it, all right. It, a pet peeve. I don't understand it. Got it. Um, you can't on those meal things, you can't like choose, like, hey, this. When you send me all this shit, I want it all ready to go. So you can like pick your, like they'll have like 30, 40 meals to pick from. Probably that's a strap me like 30 meals to pick from. But like, yeah. um, they'll say like how long they take or whatever. And some are like express. So you can just essentially throw it in an oven and mix some shit together in like a pot. But like, yeah. I'll, I don't understand why you don't take like, hey, this dill is pre-picked or this like uh, parsley is what it, no they they send it to you and some of the shit like on on the stem still and it's like uh, we're just you gotta do uh, a little work i guess jim why <laughs> it's well I'm, well i'll answer uh, that um the the ingredient would dry out if it was off of the stem so like if you're so sometimes they, they send it without sometimes it's like pre-packaged Yes, but I think it depends on what some, you're making. I guess. Some recipes say dried and some fresh. Yeah. Especially with herbs. Correct. We Did used to do answer. We used to do these uh factor meals. Yeah. Like a year or two ago. And they're nice because everything just comes, it's refrigerated. You throw it in the microwave and it's just ready. And it's yeah. like real meals. Like it's this vegetable and this meat or whatever it is. They tasted like shit. All, <laughs> like there's like two or three of them that tasted really good, but there wasn't like a consistent like variety of different ones. Yeah. Um, But I love the concept of that. If you could just be like, hey, I'm going to only spend three or four minutes a day doing dinner. Like now it's like, you spend 
30, 40 minutes making a meal. And then you have to clean up afterwards. It's another yeah. 10, 15 minutes. It's. That's why yeah. you just, one of you cooks the meal one night, the other does the dishes and then flip or, you know, just. A little reverse card. You know, this yeah. other thing, this other thing I saw, this uh, couple, they, um, this TikTok, I saw this couple, so one of them makes the meal and cleans up. And then the other one spends the time with the kids and they call it the golden hour. So like while the other one's cleaning up the, the, whoever is not doing it is just spending time with the kids that way, that way, both of them aren't like doing something. They're out with, with the children or one of them, at least with the kids while they're the other ones and then take turns, whatever, you know? Yeah. Jim, you like threw almost through your microphone at the, at the thought of, uh, having to clean up or play with your children. <laughs> <laughs> no, my my internet's just trash right now. Oh, so, okay, uh, okay. <laughs> um, Jim, do your kids eat those meals? Those pre-packaged meal no, things? No, we yeah, still do. That's what I thought. Mom and dad make meals and chicken we nuggets have or two of chicken nuggets, corn yeah. dogs, macaroni and cheese. <laughs> uh, a lot of different macaroni and cheese, pizza. <laughs> cheeseburgers right. hot yeah. dog, all the good processed food stuff yeah yeah all right the kids staples yeah um Oli yeah. olivia doesn't yeah she's very picky yeah Jim, is that a notre words. dame hat i have to stop is no, this isn't a lucky dame isn't a lucky hat yes okay yeah. I, it, it I runs a 2xl thought... yeah we, we okay. this is one of the i remember we, we talking about his hat before we, we've gone through this before yeah Tyler. what <laughs> I just said big, exactly big ex big program win. Jim's jumping on the bandwagon. I didn't know what was going on. He's wearing green. I just I thought we were gonna zig or zag. I don't know. No. All right. Okay. Uh I want to finish Kurt's day here. Yes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Our days included beer. Did some of our days include beer? Because his says by eleven, he, he's very precise with his timing, too. By the way, he gave it some thought here. 11, 11 30, crack first beer, start watching college football pregame shows. Look at latest betting trends and try to throw in at least a three to four leg parlay. Noon, game start, beer consumption level increases. 3 p.m., start looking at another parlay to place for the afternoon kickoffs because surely my first parlay got screwed. Uh, four, possibly consider an hour to hour and a half nap. But all of ours, I think all of ours include a nap for sure. Uh, again, no children, but his dog, take his dog for an evening walk at 5.30. And then 6.30, contemplate where to order dinner from. I would absolutely not use DoorDash as the fees are out of this world. would rather pick up the pizza myself or pay the pizza parlor. <laughs> pizza parlor, he said. Pizza parlor directly. Eliminating the DoorDash middleman. Typically, I end up ordering pizza from one of the thousand local pizza places in Pittsburgh since P Pittsburgh has the most pizza places per capita in the U.S. He says, look it up. <laughs> I believe Seven, it. Yeah. 7.30, feed the dog or dinner. Mall, my dinner but saving enough for a late night snack around 10, 30, 11 o'clock, 10, 30, 10 PM, depending on what games are on, I'd be watching college football or playing video games down in my basement layer. He says, thanks for re reading. Miss you all very much. Love hearing you fellas. Thanks for writing in Kurt and folks. It's just that easy. Write into three different dads at gmail.com and you are 100% guaranteed to have your email read to get a on our podcast. <laughs> It's good content. I mean, but we, thank you, we Kurt. wonder. They, yeah. yeah, we wonder what the listeners do all the time. Are yeah. are we the anomaly? So, thank yeah. you, Kurt. Yeah, that was good. That I was good. I enjoyed his day. I could picture little Kurt doing all of those things. <laughs> A little. <Kurt. laughs> uh, so so, so uh, go ahead, Jim. Hold on, real quick, yeah. off of that though. Yes. I. I don't know if I can booze that early anymore. Like I have a difficult time because it's a com like it's and i get it it's your like ideal day by yourself but yeah. like even when we went out to lunch lorenzo and i was like i'll have a second beer by the end of that beer i was like i'm ready just to take it like i uh, yep, yep. i uh i can't go hard i nap so hard tyler's dog shit all over the place and i guess i was just i Oh yeah, that was the 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 kennel dog or yeah, yeah. the the, the <laughs> foster dog. Yeah. We we came back, yeah, Trey and I came back from the Michigan game and it had just shit all in the cage and we I was like, "Jim, 
I was like, where were you? He's like, I was sleeping upstairs. Yeah. Dude, so that nothing, all yeah. happened. Yeah. And I just, I was just like, I'm, I was in, I had to nap for a couple of, I, I love the idea of like day drinking and like, Hey, let's go hard. Mm-hmm. Problem is I have a very difficult time being like, all right, if I go hard in my mind the way I want to, I'm going to be in bed by like 6 PM. So have you ever, I was going to say, have either of you ever like, like worked yourself into drinking? Like, you're like, I don't know. Like, so I'll give you paint, paint the picture. You're, you're going to an NFL game and you're like, eh, we're meeting at the bar. It's just, you know, like nine 30, 10 o'clock. So you got about three hours to kill even before game time. Can you start with that first beer and then work your way in? Or are you just like, I'm not feeling it today. I have a very difficult time drinking beer by myself, period. You're not by yourself. You're you're with a group. Oh. That helps. Yeah. Yeah, then then we can start. The the only the only time I can drink now, like like drink during the day, and I, I think this has always been the case for me. I gotta be doing something, not just like sitting watching some watching football. Like I have to even if it's playing cards or beer pong or like when we were we had the guy strip, like even if it was just like lounging in the pool, like I got to be doing can something. jam. Yeah. Can jam. Yeah. yeah. I got to be doing something, not just, not just drinking, sitting on the couch. Like it's, you know, it, it obviously it makes it a lot easier when there's a bunch of people around to, to, yeah. uh, you know, even if we're just having conversations that gets me started. But once like, once I'm, I've been drinking, then I can just sit down and talk and, and I'll be fine. But if I'm drinking like to start, like, Hey, we're going to watch this football game and have a couple beers. Like, all right, can I want to, we got to do something here. I can't just sit there, play video games, like something, you know? Yeah. I think we're on the same page. Also, yeah. I did just look up most pizza places per capita city. And according to the Chicago sun times, Detroit has the most independent pizza pizzerias per capita, nearly Ooh. average of 3.1. I, I don't know what 3.1 means, but um three yeah three people per one place i don't know pizza place maybe insane. okay or three people per pizza place that's insane that, if that's a if that's a if that's the number that's insanity three bro, people do you guys want to guess the state place. that has the the highest i already looked pizza it up place I saw per it. capita I saw did you already it. look it up yeah yeah what is it tyler do you want to guess The silence is good for the podcast. Yeah. New York. <laughs> Connecticut. Connecticut. Ooh, t- yeah. Fuck. I knew that. <laughs> There's no, you did. didn't. You didn't I know did. that. <laughs> you didn't know that. I, that that would have been a better educated guess because I feel like so many of the Barstool Pizza reviews are in Connecticut. So mm-hmm. I should have. I should have. Or like a Delaware, like second. super small state that like. I was going to say Rhode Island, but I was like, that's too small. So. Mm-hmm. Connecticut, good, good, sure. good guess. Sorry, right. better guess. But no, I appreciate <laughs> uh, Kurt's magical day. Yeah, actually, according to this list, <laughs> Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh is number five. Ooh, we got Detroit, Detroit, Cleveland, Columbus, Boston, Pittsburgh, in the round of the top ten: Indianapolis, Providence, St. Louis, Philadelphia, Norfolk. Providence. Hmm. Yeah. So, it's not do even... you think he said, "Look it up"? Just. Thinking like, hey, they're not going to look. There's no hey, their way the show guys. sucks. They're going to give give <laughs> them up. some content. I don't know, but I bet we get an email about it. <laughs> we'll we'll get a follow up for sure. Uh, three different dads at gmail.com. Um, are we doing it? Are we? We're going to talk about it. Huh? Dude, uh, what are you talking about? Jim's list. Oh yeah, it was about it. midway through, but we've delayed for three. Oh, or we four can talk episodes. about it. We we should probably talk about the reunion. Uh, it was like uh, all right, thirty seconds. It was last go. year at this point. Uh, <laughs> um, overall, I had thoughts. An go awesome ahead. time. I had such an awesome time. It was cool. A, a, it was cool because I think it still would have been fun anyway. But like having, I don't care either way. But having the Ohio State and Notre Dame game on was like an added thing. You know, like to. To say like, oh, this is whatever, you know. But um, I didn't. Well, I, hear, I hardly watched shit. any of it. <laughs> you all right, Jim? Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I hardly watched any of it. 
uh, any of the game. And I enjoyed having conversations with people who I haven't talked, probably talked to since high school. So it was pretty cool. Tyler, your thoughts overall. Same. Uh, I enjoyed having good conversations with a few, few individuals I hadn't seen in several years. Uh, shout out Matt McCabe, him and I, I feel like we hung out a lot towards, you know, my senior year, junior year. And I have no idea why, but we just yeah. kicked it and hung out a lot. Jim was in that same group, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, so it was great seeing him. I haven't seen him in a couple of years. I told him, I was like, the last time I ran into you was at a party in BG. And you were telling me like crazy ass stories about training in San Diego. And like, <laughs> they just dropped you in the middle of the bay. And he's like, oh, yeah. He's like, I got stories. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah. So, so some people that I want to get on the podcast just from that. Uh, Jeff Schumann, Jeff Schumann, Matt McCabe. Yeah. Um, those were two that I ta- I wanted to talk to. I talked to so, Lindsay Johnston too for a while. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. She was she was interested. She was very interesting. Uh, just having a conversation there, and we were talking about like I really enjoy talking about like not necessarily my work, but how I manage people and and talk about that. And so we talked a lot about like managing people and running teams and that kind of stuff. So that was a cool conversation I had there. Talked to Laura Meekinen, Laura Jordan now for a long time too. And we were friends because we both threw shot and disc together in high school. So we talked quite a bit. I talked to her husband a lot and um, who was, a, uh, she said was a super, super introvert, but was around talking to a bunch of people. She's like, yeah, he's probably got about like an hour and a half. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So it's very limited time here. But it was fun. Yeah. Jim. Uh, I thought the whole weekend was awesome. Like yeah. uh, Friday, it was great. That complex that they have for the stadium, it's really nice. Um, so thank you, Huskisson taxpayers Center. And, and yeah, everybody else that chipped in. That was a cool place to. The best part of it, like I feel like, is that conference room, and like no one stepped foot in there. Like, yeah. um, which it, the weather was perfect, but it's cool that they have that. Like. Whole, it's a large ass area up there you know um, what I, you know what i enjoyed too i enjoyed taking you guys to the locker room and seeing things and everything that was pretty sweet i like i yeah, like showing was, was showing really off cool. our stuff yeah it would have been cool now this is like very nitpicky too but like we just walking through and you giving like letting us go on the field walking out we saw pullman and hall and Harmon. um it would have been cool if there was people that were in the school when we were there that are still like, whether it be teacher or like anybody that like, I don't know if they like, it it would have been cool to even have pull, like those guys even come up and say hello to the people like, you know, like teachers or anybody else that were associated with us through the school. Um, Maybe they hated the kids. What's up? What's up? I said maybe they hated the kids. Possible. No. That that's very that's a great <laughs> point. But I feel like after twenty years, they probably don't even remember. I bet all those classes just kind of blend together, and it's just kind of like okay. okay. Um, yeah, Mrs. Ray. Mrs. Ray. I mean, she let me in the stadium. Oh yeah, because I, I had I to go. I think to go, she knew who I was. I had to go get like, you guys. Tyler. I had to yeah. go get you guys after the fact. Well, somebody. Yeah, like I I had shirt, her so. for chemistry. Like it would have been cool to see her. Um, but no, the overall, the night was cool. Like that place was, it was fun to see. It's the atmosphere in the stadium was completely different from what it was when we were in school. And like, people are really into the team, which was mm-hmm. cool to see. Um, I like that a lot afterwards, the place that we went to on third street, that was a really neat little fire pit area and everybody was hanging out and talking oh yeah i yeah i expect i expected the group that went there friday was actually going to be bigger than the group that was at the reunion just because i thought maybe the price of the reunion like maybe some people that went to the football game just to say hi and then they wouldn't go to the reunion I was really surprised with the number of people that went to the reunion itself just by on its own. Yeah. Um, yeah. That was really uh, impressive. And, um, you know, hats off to the ladies that planned everything and put it, you could tell they put a lot of thought and effort into the event itself. And 
Um, it seemed like it went really well. Um, I don't I know. Was, I was like, I was almost like proud of how many people showed up. Like it was cool that, that all yes. those people showed up, you know, and, and I gave Irwin like a week ago, sent me a message. He's like, Hey, who's this person that was at the wedding or at the reunion? And I was like, I don't know. Was, he's looking at a picture and sent it to me. I'm like, uh, I, I don't know who that is. It's probably somebody's spouse. He's like, yeah, yeah you're probably right. I'm like, why the hell weren't you there? Yeah. Like, I don't know. I just didn't have like, I don't really have a good excuse. And I'm like, well, that's bullshit. Like hopefully next time, like you'll, you'll be there. Like yeah. that was kind of weird to like, it was surprising to me that there were a lot of people that were still in the area, I guess that just didn't go. Yeah, it didn't um, go. Yeah, I won't name uh, names, but, but yeah, I was surprised there were a couple. I, there were a couple people in my head. I was just like, "Oh, I'm surprised so and so is not here." But yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess you know, to that point, I think everybody has kind of a a different taste of high school, and I think you know, the three of us at least, we all got along pretty well with everyone. But you know, you don't know if like somebody like 20 years ago now like just hated high school and that's, certain people that, or whatever so that's true i would say though i felt like the representation as a whole of the student class like there wasn't anybody like i would say like there wasn't like a real like click click that didn't have like a person that like oh the, these group of people hung out like oh there's like a like a person here from that group. yeah or yeah. like it, I'm sure if you wanted to find out like what somebody's doing from our class for the most part, somebody would have known somebody that like they still kind of kept yeah, in contact that they could with, say oh, what they were doing, like yeah. a person maybe. Um, but overall, I think it was really good. Uh, a couple things like I wish the bar was close to the dance floor, probably would have got people on the dance floor. Yep. Um, I don't even know if we needed a live band. Like everybody was talking. I like I the think, music I, that they played. Yeah, uh, I, I think but, part of that was just like I don't think we would have had a band if it wasn't Jake. Like if Jake, yeah. you know, he was in our class, so so they're yeah. like, "Hey, why don't you play?" You know, that probably we probably would have got a DJ. You know, in that case, I like I almost felt bad because it's like everybody's hanging out, talking to each other, and. I felt like on the other side of the, like where all the tables were in the bar and in the TV, like all that type of stuff. Yeah. And not where the live music was as much, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's, I guess it's appropriate though for the event. I mean, cause you're there to connect or reconnect with a lot of people. No, 1000%. Anyway, so. That's like, yeah, it was, it was cool that it was there, but it wasn't like, a. I. Yeah I, yeah, I I don't know. I uh, that, but yeah, I I completely missed out on the little uh, camera thing. I I immediately from the first minute we got there, I think I went to the bar, talked to everybody inside, got food a couple times outside, went to the bathroom, never made it down that hallway. So then the next day, people were posting their like little photo booth things of like the the three sixty camera. I was like, where the fuck was this thing at? And <laughs> never made it down that hallway. So I was a little bummed I missed out on that. Yeah, I had to stop. I stopped drinking like a couple hours after, like after an hour of getting there, because we had to wake up so early the next day. <laughs> I was like, I just don't do want to be hungover. Do you regret that? Did you win Father of the Year first off? Like, did, no, I wanted that. that. I wanted that the... day, actually. So, okay. Yes. Then sorry, Jim, you didn't win. <laughs> yes. That, uh, yeah, that, uh, that's so early. Yeah, it was early. Um, but that was very early. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, <laughs> so early. Yeah, you had to take dude. I was so cash. So like I came home after dropping them off. I think I got back home at 6 30 in the morning. I slept from 6 30 in the morning till eleven. And then that the whole day, I was just so worthless because like, obviously the, even the day before, like train, I got up super early to go to the Michigan game. Yeah. So like, I was just so cash from that whole week and I slept so much that Sunday. It was, it was bad. <laughs> worthless. I, I will say there was a scary thing. We, we, you know, 
obviously like, we're the first flight out in the morning. Um, and so there's not a lot of people at the airport and we're at the terminal and we're waiting there. And we're there like 15 minutes beforehand or whatever. And we're sitting and all of a sudden it's, uh, can James Hutchison please report to the front desk? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, but shit. It, the night before, like they send you the message like, hey, are you willing to rebook or fly a oh, different yeah. time? Like how much money? Like all this type of shit. And Trey accidentally like clicked on it, but then like exited, like they were just like, we'll let you, like this isn't set in stone, but thanks for letting us know. And I'm just like, are they going to fucking bump me from this thing? And it's 6 a.m. But it was just, uh, they wanted to move my seat so that a family could sit together. And they gave me a fuck off. They gave me an exit row. So I was, (laughs) uh, yes, I will take that. I'm okay. able and willing uh, to assist in a med- uh, an emergency. So yeah, when uh, when there's when there's trades offered on flights, if someone's asking me, I better 100 percent be winning that trade, or you're not getting my seat. That's right. That's I'm right. sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. yeah. And so I mean, I left. <laughs> you take this middle cause... seat for your aisle. No, <laughs> no. I Trey won't. and Trey and I, we we each had aisles aisle seats, but in the same row, going there and back. So I left him uh high and dry but no it worked. i asked i was like what about first class and they said we're we're all booked on first class <laughs> hey <laughs> you don't move, know if you don't ask just move so. one of those guys yeah um did you guys i hold on one no, go thing, ahead uh did you guys have any awkward conversations at the reunion uh <laughs> so i yes. can tell you this so i can tell you this <laughs> I, so the obviously i saw my i saw ginger in there and it's i mean we dated a, a, a high school and whatever in college and then at some point she's like all right i think she said all right lorenzo or all right mr melcher are we gonna do this so we chatted for a little bit and then and then that was it i mean it wasn't awkward it was just like something that needed to be done because we're almost 40 and we should be acting like we're children um so we did we did I, that I did. I actually <laughs> actually had a really good conversation with her husband like uh it was i had uh fun talking oh, to him. Colin. Yeah, yeah. So Yeah, he he's a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. So we chatted or whatever and you know, I I uh she left at so I wasn't I don't know if I was in a restroom or somewhere else, but she left and and I just messaged her. I was like, "Hey, you know, sorry I missed you. It was, it was nice talking to you or whatever." And just much like everybody else said, "Hey, if you're ever in Toledo and you want to go ice skating, I'll get you some free ice skates." So uh but it, I mean it wasn't awkward. It was just it was something again as a almost 40 year old like, "Okay, we got to we have to talk. We can't just not talk to each other." you know and and so it it was all good yeah so my favorite part was so same thing saw saw my ex there yeah and as she's approaching she like says hi to trey (laughs) moves a little past trey and trey goes (laughs) makes makes eye contact with me I dude, I died I started (laughs) laughing so so hard she didn't say hi Uh, to you no, she did, but as uh-huh. she was approaching me and past Trey, Trey's like, "Oh, okay." <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> I, uh, Jesus, it was so funny. I I I laughed hysterically after that. <laughs> Still makes me laugh just thinking about his face. Jim? So uh, I'm very much like uh bros before the h word i don't want to get canceled and i have daughters and everything else so we'll just say but um anyways so there was a person there that i didn't talk to much in high school Mm. and then she broke up with one of my best friends and so i was like i just don't talk to you at all and kind of like fuck this person type of a thing like not rude or anything but like whatever um, and I think it was you, Lorenzo, or it might have been Buger and Leo were talking, and somehow I tried to walk by, and I was just like, Nope, I, th- I think it was you, Lor- like, you pulled me into the conversation and like you made me take pictures with them. <laughs> I, 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 I'm almost a hundred percent because you were like, Hey, we're gonna go do this 3D spinny thing to take a picture and i'm like yeah yeah i'll be right there with you guys yeah 
no way in hell I was going with you guys. <laughs> I uh, is a nice person. Yeah. She was very nice and cordial and everything else, but she's just one of those people that like I ride with Zollers. And so, um, <laughs> you know, even if, even if the two of them were like super cool, I'd still be like, you know, fuck that person. So it's just whatever it's I like, you know, we're super cordial with fuck that person. <laughs> but I, I mean, like and, <laughs> I'll obviously just I'll, I'll go with you know Ty and so I just it it yeah. was such a weird just like so how's it go and the other thing too <laughs> I got, Trey and I got the exact same questions right so it's like oh you guys are you you live in Texas yep oh Trey lives there Trey Trey lives right by you you guys live really close to each other right and so I did I had to just explain to every single person I had to talk to you pretty much the difference between like Fort Worth and, and North Dallas and just <laughs> directional and like we're in the same state. It's a large state. Mm-hmm. We see each other, you know, two to three times a year probably, but uh we talk a lot. But <laughs> yeah, it I mean, but we just got pepper we got the same, oh yeah, how close are you guys to the you know, whatever. So but no, overall it was it was awesome. It was, it was a fun time. So but that was the one I tried everything to get out of talking to talking to them. And I did a really good job. There was people there. I just kind of like, I didn't ignore, but it's like, I didn't really talk to you in high school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> I haven't talked to you in 20 years. Like, Hey, how's it going? But, good to see. But yeah. Lorenzo, you pulled me into that conversation with her. And God, I forget. Was it, it Jenny D? It, yes. It was yeah, Jenny okay, D. I remember. I remember now. Okay. Yes. Because me and Jenny D took off. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So Leah may have ghosted me just as well, thinking like, fuck that guy. I'm not going to go take pictures with him. And we both were just like, yeah, no. Yeah. Let's let's go do this. Let's go do this. And I tried to leave. <laughs> and you were like, hey, get out. into this picture. And I purposely like stepped back into the side and you're like, we need to retake this picture, Jim. You're, you're barely in it. And like <laughs> made it get closer in there. And I'm like, oh, this is all right. okay. Like, yeah, that's okay. This is happening. Cool. There, there was a couple, a couple times, like I would, I was talking to people and I'm like, Hey, you know, I, I know we chatted a little bit in high school and I apologize if I was a jerk to you and I, cause I didn't remember if I was or wasn't like, I could have, I could have been. And you know, some of those, some of those people that were, I knew, like, I mean, just like Tyler said, like we talked to a lot of people in, in, in high school. So like, sometimes I talked to this person maybe once every quarter and was, I mean to, you know, so I had to like, I apologize for shit that I didn't even know it happened for sure. <laughs> The strongest, that's the, the safe, strong, safe bet. Biggest, like the strongest bond or like reconnection I had with people were people that I went to Frank's school with. Mm-hmm. Cause like people like Jenny Diethenthaler or, um, I can't think of her name, but she helped plan real, the event. Real strong bond. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, really hit it off well. <laughs> It was like I I didn't really speak to him much in high school at all. Mm. But we spent four or five years together in elementary school. Like we were all like the K through six or like it was, you know, we we knew each other for a long time in elementary like that was that was really cool. Like when we went out to the dinner thing fr- or for drinks on Friday, I spent like Jenny Diethenfeller and I spent the entire time talking as if we were like, we've known each other forever. And I, I probably didn't talk to her much in high school or middle school, but elementary school, we were in all like almost all the same classes together. So that was cool. Yeah. Like those type of things were really cool to see. Yeah, it, it was uh, like you said, Jim, the whole weekend was awesome. It was, I was, it was great that you guys can, you and Trey came up, you know, even hanging out with, with all of you and Birkin at uh, Tyler's house. Like that was fun too. Like it made me sad. Like you guys aren't here. And Caitlin like, Bort- Borton. Yeah. Portland. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. That's not our last name now, but yeah. But yeah, it made me sad that you guys don't live here. Uh, but what it did do is like, I even talked to Buker and Buker's like, why don't we hang out? Like me and Buker text quite a bit. 
obviously ty you're on this podcast and we'll text every once in a while it's like why don't we like we're here why don't we like hang out with each other so uh i'm trying to do that in a couple of weeks with ty I, I texted ty uh yesterday i think or today earlier today jim said, you're invited two weeks saturday so thank you i yeah. appreciate you're that. welcome yeah <clears throat> we're gonna watch football or something probably at Tyler's. Wait, I, was, I was hoping we would hit that lotto <laughs> so you could just take the pj up but you know <laughs> maybe next time but uh we'll get we'll get it th- this reunion uh got me excited about future reunions so yeah it was good uh, yeah it was fun overall yes um before we move on um speaking of our classmates super fan george uh the original og of super fans he uh, no requested- longer a sinner <laughs> yeah he got married he requested um in our group chat that he uh, george's favorite quote of the previous episode section uh for our podcast so that's uh that's uh our new segment as we are prone to having creating new segments george's favorite uh quote from the last episode when we were talking about pizza and Tyler said when he ordered a Little Caesars pizza, and I, I asked, "Do you order Little Caesars on purpose?" <laughs> and this has been George's favorite quote of the previous episode. Um, thank you, George. George. Yes. Uh, also, George. George uh, adjacent or uh, not adjacent? How was the wedding? It's about George. So yes, was I was in wedding? San Diego. First of all, San Diego, sweet, really oh, fun, well, overrated. No way. Uh, a lot of fun. I'm kidding. I know. Hotter <laughs> hotter than I wanted it to be, but it but it was better than being here at Ohio. So uh, it was cool. Went out there by myself. The first, first day I flew out there, had dinner with George and his wife. Um, so that was nice. Yeah, super expensive. How's the hookers and, out in uh, San Diego? How's the what? Hookers? I didn't see it. Prostitutes? I saw homeless oh. people. Okay. Uh, actually i saw the same i love, I love how you started with hookers and then you're like expanded prostitutes <laughs> ladies of the night <laughs> uh i did i would i walked around friday by myself i walked downtown and to some little shops called seaport village and i was i texted george i go san diego smells like pee he goes yeah <laughs> we really people don't go downtown that often it's just a centralized location for the wedding i'm like oh okay so hung out, uh, picked up Andrea. I walked to the airport from our ho- from our hotel. It's about forty five minutes. Uh, it was it was fun. It was a little sketchy. A couple points that where I had to go into the airport was under construction, like the roads. So there's no mm-hmm. sidewalk where there normally is. It was either that or I have to walk all the way around and go to the other entrance. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna brave this street. And it wasn't that bad. I went through and was able to get to the airport, pick her up, watching I guarantee- football. I guarantee you there was cars driving to the airport. Like, what the fuck is this person doing walking to the airport? I I, I only had a book bag. That would be my thought if I saw this person. I only had a book bag. There there was a guy walking with a suitcase, like rolling his suitcase. uh, I believe it. Following me, you know, following a little bit behind me. So it was cool waking up at 9 a.m., be able to watch college football and, uh, you know, NFL football. So that was was pretty neat. Uh, I did miss the... our. Our game against Finley. I was in my in my hotel bed watching it on my phone, and I couldn't get it to go to the TV. So eventually, I just went into the lobby and put it on the on the TV in the lobby and watched it down there, screaming at a high school football game. Um, and then the does. yeah, the wedding was really fun. Uh, everyone enjoyed my uh, officiating, which I I thought I did a pretty good job. Had some really good uh, jokes. Uh, it was a fun fun time. I'm glad George asked me to do that. George and, and his wife Brittany. Um, and speak, it was like another mini reunion. There was Piers, a bunch of Petersburg kids there. Uh, Eric Ermey, Brandon, remember Brandon Wilson? Yeah, yep. he was there. I haven't uh, seen him in years. He he walked by, and I told Andrew, I was like, I don't know if he has children, but he looks like a dad. He just, just like <laughs> had the dad bod, he had a, like a He's sweater got a bunch, on, or doesn't he? It's he four kids, like, yeah, four. that's what I thought. I was gonna yeah. say, yeah. Um, who else was there? Um, Ryan Deering, his wife. Um, who else did I see? Drew Benedict. Jesus, I haven't seen Seth, Drew in a long time. Seth Williams. Um, so yeah, it was it was fun. It was a good time. Uh, we didn't stay out super late, but uh, 
I, I told Andrew, I was like, I know you're tired because she had to fly in real early. And I was like, I want to be able to like spend the weekend with you. So if we got to leave a little early, we will. And we, we left like an hour early. It wasn't too bad, but a lot of pot. Uh, I mean, they had a thing, a table full of joints that you could just take. Um, I did not partake, but uh, a lot of people did. So overall fun. I can't wait to take our man, our man vacation there, mancation there next in, in June. Uh, it's going to be sweet. So I'm looking forward to it. Did you walk by where we're staying or I did not. Was it uh, off the grid? No, it was not off the grid. It was just on the other side of the bay. Okay. okay. So yeah, uh, the opposite side of downtown. Enough said. Yeah. I went You're by good. Petco park. Um, so that, that was pretty cool. So that's where we're going. We're going to go watch a Padres game when we're down there. So hell yeah, we're over are. there. So nice. Overall, it's fun. Um, yeah, no complaints, man. Besides having to come home. <laughs> so, How long a flight is that? Four hours? I think it was like four and a half, Ooh. which obviously going there is great because you're chasing the sun, as my dad would say. Uh, coming back, terrible, because you know like <laughs> it's going to be nighttime when you get home, and it was raining and cold. Uh, I don't like flying either. So when, when we were, <laughs> when we were, when I was, we were taking off to go there to go to San Diego. I was sitting on their airplane by myself, and uh, I'm like, "All right, let's just go. Let's get up in the air." I hate takeoffs. I hate landings. And they're like, the guy came over the speaker. I was like, "All right, well, we're waiting because it's pretty high winds right now, so everyone's just waiting." I'm like, "Oh my god, <laughs> just get me up in the air!" <laughs> so uh, I was able to hold my own hand and put a movie nice. on, and good to go. I, I've watched more movies on the, that flight to to San Diego and in the hotel room and on the way back than I've watched this entire year. I, I think I watched five movies. What was your favorite? Uh, so I watched it, the newer version of it. I didn't see. I, I got to see the second part. That was pretty good. I watched Don't Breathe. I don't know if you heard about that movie. That was from like 2016, maybe 17, something like that. Um, that was okay. Wedding Crashers. That was Last and then oh, hold on, hold but, on. But, but. So you're in a public space. You have your phone or your tablet open. This is on the airplane. And, Wedding okay, crashes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And there's probably all these people around, and there's just titties flying <laughs> all over the place. I thought about that. Like I didn't think about that when I put it on, but then as they started doing that sequence at the beginning, I'm like, oh, there's gonna be some boobs coming out. I forgot. But. I mean, it's only like 15 seconds of boobs. So. I, I always think about that when I'm listening or I, a lot of the movies that I like or I, maybe there was like a plane crash or like it's a war movie or something like that. I'm like, I don't know if this is going to freak out the person uh, next mm-hmm. to me because I'm watching this, uh, this yeah. thing. But yeah. yeah, whatever. I've watched Zero Dark Thirty countless times on airplanes, and I don't know great, why, but it's a it's like a movie. it's a perfect two to two and a half hour movie. So it's like ideal when I was going down to Texas. Like it's the almost the exact flight time. Random, yeah, I know, but I love that movie. So I was trying to figure out what the first movie I watched before because I watched Wedding Crashers on the way there, but I watched something before that. It was a movie I hadn't seen seen before. Um, I tend to watch like scary movies because Andrea doesn't like them, so I never watch them. So I, uh, it was probably another like scary movie or something like that, but I can't remember what it was. I but, had watched the uh, Tom Cruise has a movie like American Dream or something like not American Dream, huh? but he's he's like a pilot for the uh, drug cartels, and all it is is like him crashing planes in Colombia and in the United States, like over and over, like trying to get drugs into the U S and he's working for like the CIA. It's a, it's a pretty good movie. American but, made. Uh, yes. Maybe yeah. that's it. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, that was one that just over and over, like these planes just started cr- like he was crashing or like this and that. I'm like, so you're watching a plane crash on yeah. a plane. Yep. I was just like, this is bizarre. Okay. <laughs> Nightmare. Probably not ideal. Yeah. Nightmare fuel. Probably not an idea. <laughs> oh my gosh. Jim, yeah, but, I gotta ask you. Yeah. Uh oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. You're good, Tyler. I was just gonna say, so Jim sent us the the list of mm-hmm. topics, and one of them says my daughter ran away yesterday. So I wanted Jim to tell us about that. 
Are now are we supposed to mention the list? Or are we just supposed to casually like say things and I, make I it, couldn't make it work seem that like one planned? in? I, I couldn't work that one in. <laughs> like, hey Jim, your kid ran away. Go ahead, tell us you about know, that. I got it. I got it. I got it. You know, um, I was sitting, I was sitting to to come back, you know, and it was a little wet. It was a little wet. So we had to sit on the on the runway for a while. But speaking of runaways, um <laughs> I, I you said you had a story about your daughter running away. Or I, I also was thinking, um, you know, we could have gone to, I was talking about Creed and the Rangers and yeah. bands and stuff. That the now your, your daughter running away hit, stuck out to me. The 1992 hit Runaway Train was about runaways. Um, Jim, your daughter ran away <laughs> yesterday. I don't know. About- <laughs> Soul Asylum. <laughs> Runaway Train. I bet a lot of people don't remember that song. <laughs> Runaway Train MTV never just, coming back. Yeah. I, or, uh, one one video, way but, uh, no, no, Jimmy, you said a lot of people don't remember that song. Much like you don't remember your daughter anymore because she ran away. Tell me about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it was... It was uh, <laughs> She got upset because we were making her cleaner room as one. Which, which uh, daughter? Uh, Brooklyn, nine years Brooklyn. old. Perfect. She's starting to get, uh, you know, hormones are starting to kick and all this other stuff. Um, and so it was just like, okay, like, yeah, I do this. She's threatened to run away a couple times and she'll pack a bag and kind of like Can I tell walk you, outside. Sorry. Can I tell you that that is the most fun thing to witness like a little kid packing a bag you know who yeah. did that <laughs> i remember sitting at uh erwin's house when we were in high school and his sister i think it was his sister taylor packed the bag just throwing bullshit into this bag as she's walking down the <laughs> sidewalk <laughs> so i wasn't in the mood to play with it because i i there was a bunch of shit that had to get done around the house yesterday like hey let's get the house ready like you know, we had a short week the week before. Um, like, I don't know. I like to have the house, all the girl stuff ready to go Monday. Laundry's done, all this type of shit. So I know that she was upset. And then I went into her room to like vacuum. And she's like walking around with a book bag, filling it with like a stuffed animal and like a journal and like, you know, Essentials. whatever. That yeah. Yes, yeah. a towel. Like, okay. Um, <laughs> and I'm like, what She's are you doing? Need to shower on the road. I mean, duh. Because I was getting. I'm like, what are you doing? Put that stuff back. I just put a lot of that stuff away. Like, not. She's like, I'm just running away. You can just do whatever. I was like, I don't have time <laughs> to deal with this right now. You're not. Ru- like, what are you gonna? She's like, I'm gonna run away. I've got seventeen dollars with me, so I'll go. <laughs> walk and get some food and you know whatever i'm like okay i just clean up after yourself is all i'm asking you just clean no so then i'm upstairs trying to rearrange our attic and doing some stuff and then all of a sudden i can look out the window and see she's just standing outside now is it it's cold here, but it's like 60s, like mid 60s, not freezing cold. But she she had shorts on and like a hoodie. And I'm like, oh, this is going to end pretty damn quickly because it's too damn cold with the wind for her just to be out in shorts and she's going to give up. So she sat on the sidewalk. She pa- packed a blanket and ra- wrapped herself into a blanket instead of just putting on pants. Um, and I'm like, OK, this this. uh ordeal is going to end quickly no her stubborn ass stayed out there she came in for a second was like i am going to walk to go get food i'm like there is no way in hell you're walking to go get food and you don't need food you just had lunch a little bit ago (laughs) Um, and she's just like well i'm gonna run i'm like okay what are you gonna do about school tomorrow Uh, i don't know like i i don't have to go to school i'm a runaway i'm like True. Okay. I mean, this girl knows her knows her runaway story. So this went on for a good hour. She was outside. She what went back she, out. What was there. she doing? Just just standing there? She sat on the sidewalk, got her book bag out. She then went and sat under our tree in the front yard. She needed like that shade. Was gonna Logical. Give her some 
you know, uh, so, uh, some shelter. Um, no, it was, she waited us out pretty damn, like, it, I was like, <laughs> I was impressed. Then she came inside to get something. Oh, oh she stole her sister's scooter and was going to go scooting around. Then, and I'm like, you need to return that right now. That's you're not yours. Like you're running away. Take your own stuff, not your sister's. <laughs> Runaways have no possessions. That's right. <laughs> so then she came inside and I, we ended up talking things out and she decided that she'd stay for another day. Um, Just and one she day. didn't run away today. So okay. All right. um, perfect. Now I have one question. Yeah. What does the o- HOA say about runaways? Do they, do they treat them um, like basketball hoops? And it's they a, can't it's be a in non-permanent street? structure, so I don't think that there's any. This sounds more like a. a oh, so they do situation. treat them like basketball hoops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, it, yeah, I. We're just gonna have issues when she's a couple more years older. Like it's just like, okay. Yeah. Um. So so yeah, this is what I have to look forward to going forward so have your kids run because this is a once every six months i would say for the last two years my, my daughter is starting to run away oh, really where did she get pack. this from like that's what i'm wondering is like she just YouTube started videos, somewhere i'm assuming okay, <laughs> okay. that's just I'm a, yeah the the, the classic i'm gonna run away answer. for 24 hours stupid ass videos yeah 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 something like that she hasn't made it four houses from us um but I mean, when I was a kid, are you throw... tempted at all to tell her like, hey, runaways don't have a home out and just <laughs> lock the door, <laughs> shut the and, door. Just, and then and then just really see how long she lasts out there? No, no, that's yeah, no. I get it. I get it. Yeah, it's your child. I get it. Yeah. Yeah, we we live. Uh, my neighborhood's off of a major street. So, yeah, yeah. You don't the last wanna, thing I want her to do that. is be yeah. like, well, let me go. Let me start going because let me go get some buckies. Yeah, she could. Yeah, uh, it's. Uh... <laughs> Did you tell her no, about so inflation? That was my son. I was just more pissed that isn't going to get her, get her for too far. I so did. Point. I mean, okay, good. Thanks a lot, Obama. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, all right, guys. What? That's it, man. It's been an hour. Wait, we got more topics. I know, but. I got no time. Oh, yeah, this is the last one because I, I was so it. like not impressed by it. The solar eclipse. Oh, uh, it was cloudy here. We couldn't see it. It was. Uh, there's a there's a total like eclipse coming April something next year. Yeah, and it's Dick like my Perrysburg birthday. is in the direct <laughs> site. So I think that I, I think Dallas. Dallas is too. Yeah, yeah, it, it's huge. Yeah. Obviously, it's just. It's a nice big... little like it hits Toledo to doubt like it's oh yeah I uh when, so... when I when I found that out I immediately reserved all our uh, this is just because it's my park I immediately reserved all the reservable spaces in our parks so we could because I don't know if programming was gonna know about it so I could hold it for any programs or anything that needed to go on or if my staff wanted to be like hey we got this place we can go and hang out and watch the eclipse. So Black. we had the glasses and everything. Here's like we could see it perfectly. It was in the middle of the football game when this was going on for my kid. And mm-hmm. um you couldn't tell that there was a solar eclipse happening unless you had the glasses staring up at it, you could see it. There was it only never par- wasn't partial? It was, I thought it was yeah, only a partial. There was always part. like a part of the sun out. Like yeah, it, it was, makes it it makes it real difficult to see if there's a part of the sun out, but um, but like it never, it never got to the point where it was like, it, it, it was almost like it was a little cloudy outside, but it wasn't like mm. this big shadowy thing that came across. Yeah. I don't know. Just was not impressed. Well, the I'm next not one impressed is with again, the one in, the one in April is legit. It's like a total eclipse on my birthday. So that's, yes. that's the one you want. Yeah. Yeah. On April my 8th. birthday. April 8th. <laughs> Hey, that's, that's your birthday, Jimmy. That is big three okay. nine, three nine. So damn, we're old. I'm gonna be getting old. I'm gonna be three nine in February. Old ass. I know. 
All right, guys. Well, this was an incredible episode, if I do say so myself. We were on our game. We were on our game. Uh, List came in clutch. Uh, One of my favorite things is to find segues into these lists. (laughs) I think I think something we should do is practice like. Uh, when we change topics, work we on our all, segues. We, no, no. When we change yes. topics, we should all just take a crack at it <laughs> to see to see how we can do it. <laughs> all right, I like it. I'm in. It's just it's just fun to me. I don't know why. Um, we've also gotten away from dad jokes, which is a staple on this on this show for a long time. So is it uh, though? It was. It was something of all the segments we did. That was well. The you we, said we we have a tendency to change segments, and we just. We zagged, so we listened to the people. Um, but nobody said they didn't want things. Well, it wasn't tested on said. the audience scores. Remember that we did that poll. <laughs> I, I just, don't. We didn't. We didn't do a poll. I'm kidding. The research group that we hired, uh, <laughs> they, they said 80, 86 The uh, dad jokes. Can a kangaroo jump higher than a house? Of course they can. Houses can't jump. Nailed it. What do you call right, an alligator? See everybody next week. What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. Nailed it. Part two. My wife asked me to put ketchup on the shopping list. Now I can't read anything. <laughs> All right. That's a good one. I like that one. That I like that one. That was better I like than mine. That one. Yeah. Thank For you. a second there, I thought that Tyler got married and just buried the lead there. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler, if you if you do get married, please consider me to be your officiant. Um, I have a, no, I have a lot of fun doing that, and I make fun it, of everybody. So it'll have to be a fight between you and Jim. Jim, Jim see how Jim oh. perked up? Like, can, he's, hey, can we double? Can we have two officiants? Ooh. I don't see why not. Oh I don't my see god! Why not? Oh my god, Jim! I don't start. I, <laughs> but I want to give the best man speech again. You can give the best man speech. Well, I I'm guess I can. I already know best what the speech. best man speech is going to well, be. Well, if you're going to give the best the man speech, part. let me be the officiant. How about that? That's fine. Can we do that? Tyler, can you can you lock us in? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Heather there? Is Heather around? No. She's oh, not. oh, oh, oh. No. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So with the weekend, whatever. Tyler and Trey, uh, Friday, Tyler and Trey go... T- to the store to go buy stuff for the the Michigan football game. Oh, is so this it's a Heather, reunion weekend. Okay, yeah, for the reunion okay. week. So it's Heather Birkin and myself hanging out as one does the three uh, amigos, know, best of buds hanging yeah. out. Amigos, yeah. And so, um, <laughs> did Heather tell you what the first question that I had for her was when when you guys left? Can I tell you? What are, can you, I tell what you, are I was, your intentions uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, with hold on, hold on. my friend? Can I tell you? I was more terrified that you're going to say. Can it? Can did Heather tell you what Birkin said? <laughs> what are, I, what, I, go ahead. Sorry. Go. What are, What are your intention, intentions with Tyler? <laughs> you she go did, fuck she did tell Jim? me that. <laughs> <laughs> and then the best the the best part though, where I still like feel like okay, I know Tyler maybe a little bit more than Heather, is. Tyler and Trey were gone for a while and Tyler was talking nonstop about this Blackstone grill that he had. He, <laughs> Hey, do, should I get this thing for the tailgate? Should I not get it? Yeah. I don't really know. I have this grill. I all the need to have food for the, I thought was, I told him, I was like, I, you don't need one man. Just use whatever you currently have. Whatever. Like, I don't know. Uh, whatever. So they're pulling, like they're pulling up. I go to Heather. I go, do you think he got, the black blackstone grill no no way he would have definitely used my discount if you went and got the i think he got the grill go outside tyler's grabbing grill, a grill, grill acquired car need to set grill this acquired. bad board up. i just got a new grill so you did use her discount nah it, it wasn't that significant it's fine any, any amount of money is significant i uh, know it's you, fine I was in a rush. That uh-huh. that that weekend was a little rush. So, and okay. also, Ty, we told you that we would uh, be honest with you if we don't like your girlfriend. And uh, I heard like good her. things. So, yeah, thank you. We, we do like her. Thank you. Yeah, I like her as well. Was oh, I included it in that? We suck. Yes. A good job. That, seal yeah, seal of approval. Not. Yeah. Seal of approval. Podcast seal of approval. Yep. Stamp it. All right, guys. Um, well, 
should we go down the road where are we at to super fans i think we have we have five now so uh we're at we we added kurt to the list of birkin rachel and megan and of course thanks george as always um if you want to reach us reach us at the um three different dads at gmail.com we're also on social medias uh text us as most of you are aware of who we are and have our personal phone numbers so uh again guys thanks for for coming on here this was a great episode thanks george this thanks, has george. Been, congrats george this has been three different dads if there's nothing